Well, that sounded like an Australian on a mission. Shane Rose, CP qualified, the man to beat at the moment, 35.8. But we have five more combinations to go. And this next one is a huge player in the series. None other than Sir Mark Todd, Kill Two Brid Rhapsody, rides this horse for owner Nicky Ryan. Mark currently ranked number 10 in the world and actually finished fourth on this horse at Gatcombe in leg five of the series this year. Also finished at third at Samur a little bit earlier on uh, in the spring as well. But uh, the Mark just raises his hand there. Now, we should explain why that is, because he is the only rider in the field that has actually choreographed his music. I didn't know you could do this. Yeah, yeah you we'll can. You'll be doing that next year, won't you, Julia? Yeah, of now? course. <laughs> he's not letting any advantage slip away so he was uh, he is a little bit more pure dressage in terms of actually doing his test to the music so Derm from a series perspective what can we expect from uh, the man who has won a double Olympic gold medal Look, this is I would be hoping this is 40 and below that 40 barrier starting point and we'll go from there this should be a test that can go into the 30s What's exciting for me here is the battle with, with Cuddy Cohn and also the battle with everyone else. Shane Rose has now laid down a marker, so nobody can afford to slip up when you think we still have Townend to come. Um, of that group, Price, Townend, Todd, Rose, they're all fighting it out for, for a place on the series podium and this is, Mark, this is Mark's opportunity. When you saw him raising his hand, what was really interesting was he did it in the last leg in Blair. Uh, 38.7 was his score, but he was still annoyed that there was a w he was one second or two seconds off as, as the music changed and he went into the second part of the test. He wants to be bang on it and he practices and knows exactly what he has to do to do that. But I think it's not so easy to really write to a certain music if you've really made it for the test. I mean, that's why uh, pure dressage, the cure is quite difficult and really needs a lot of, um, lot of training. Um, but it's certainly something interesting. I mean, we are used to writing to some kind of music. Personally, I thought it was lots of fun to write to music you like at Wiesbaden. So adjusting it a little bit and you could maybe change it in the walk and in the Kent again. Maybe it's something that's possible for people who want to do it for, yeah. the, for the next years, which um, I think makes it more fun for the um, spectators to watch and maybe also for the judges to the judge. Ju the judges, spectators, and also I had a chat with Sam about it during the week because Sam was beginning to practice or think about choreographing his music and what he was saying was it actually makes you concentrate more because you're focused so much on being in time in every single movement so that you can arrive at the transition in the music in the right place that you're really, really concentrating on each movement. Uh, I think Mark is doing a really good job of um, riding every transition and getting every mark out of the horse. Uh, he was a bit looked a little bit unsettled at the beginning in some of his trot movements where he had to change direction, but he had a really um, relaxed walk. But the judges obviously had something they didn't like. Maybe they uh, he fell into trot shortly once, which we, which we didn't really realize. And now a change of music, that's interesting. Change of music, there we go. Um, so he, he really lost some marks in the walk now. The half period was correct, but not really, really good. So he only got quite normal marks for it. And you would, I mean, the horse is switching his tail quite often. Is that a sign of resistance? Well, um, it can be. It doesn't have to be. And that's, again, one, watch, uh, one judge might think, well, it's a bit tight. The other judge thinks, well, maybe it's just his way of going. Um, you would wish the horse, like for example now, um, to be a bit more in front of the leg. So if you feel as a judge the horse could be a bit more from behind and then you see a switching tail, you might think, well, maybe maybe he's a bit tight. So um, yeah, that can, could be um, a reason for the judge to don't go really high in the marks. Well, in terms of the series, Derm, 
I'm worried, Nicole. Are you? He's skirting very close to your magic 45 number. Well, we have to set rules with these, and if he doesn't hit 45, I can't put him on the list, Mark Todd or no Mark Todd. So I really hope he stays for sub that, because um, he didn't get the opportunity to, to do what he can do in the show jump in a player. And again, I, I have to just, just think about numbers. Look, three poles came down at Blair. I'm not sure he liked the ground in Blair. I know, I know, but it was the same ground for everyone, and I'm judging everybody the same. Yes, he is going to be sub 45. You can go on the list. Let's see those <laughs> collectives come in. So Sir Mark Todd killed two Brid Rhapsody, finishing their test. The walk was expensive, but he should still say, stay at sub 45, and he'll go inside the top 15. But I think, Dem, it would be safe to say he was perhaps looking for a sub 40. Yes, and he should have been, and that's what he will expect. What I'm really looking forward to is we're going to have to wait one more test to see it, but I want to see that interview. He will have had uh, he will have had a test to simmer and potentially calm down, but it's a, going to be a really, really interesting interview to hear. I want to hear his opinion on whether the music, whether his music was in time. You know that that went actually right for him, um, and yeah, I think he'll be a little bit disappointed with the score. In fairness, uh, Kiltrubbard Rhapsody is only a 10-year-old, and Mark won't be putting too much pressure on him. But there's the score, 43.5 and into 11th. Long way to go on this. He's not taking any chances, choreographing his music. <laughs> They're still talking about your music, Toddy. But are you growling? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, you always up at Blair. He did a, a sub 40, and he's well capable of it. But you know, he's he's still a young horse at this level, and uh, they're, they're never that consistent. So he didn't do as well as he can do this time. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Yeah, the the competitive edge never goes from you, does it? I mean, the the frustration was written all over your face. It's all we could do just to keep you finishing. It's just really annoying. Yeah, well, you know, it's when they work in really well and they, and then they go in there and, you know, the atmosphere and everything else sort of just sets them off a bit and they're not as attentive and they, they, they don't perform as well as they can and uh, it is a bit frustrating. But as I said, you know, he's a young horse, you know, he's probably a year away from being really established at this level and uh, you've just got to take it. And it, you know as well as anyone, this is a jumping competition, isn't it? It is, you know, it's not over yet. Uh, it is only the first phase, so uh, we've got to sort of knuckle down. Hopefully you'll jump a nice clear round tomorrow, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, listen, best of luck. Thank you. As we went from one series contender straight to another. Sarah Cohen to Sir Mark Todd killed two Brid Rhapsody, 43.6. That leaves him in 14th after the dressage. He was a little disappointed with his dressage yesterday because uh, he is looking to challenge Sarah Cohen for that second spot on the podium in the series. And uh, Derm, from Echo Ratings' perspective, can he leave all the poles standing to do it? Mark Todd knows how to do it back in 2010, Land Vision. He went in here on a 45. He finished on a 45. He's the last person to finish on his dressage score and go on to win Blenheim. But on this horse, Kiltobert Rhapsody, still just a 10-year-old. Their last six internationals, they haven't had a clear round. They've either had poles down or they've had time falls. They can go, when they jump clear, they pick up time falls. When they don't jump clear and poles fall, they're inside the time. Can they put both things together today? Sarah Cohn has given them a look in. Well, he did the tight turn to three, and so I think he's very aware of what he needs to do. Uh, Mark Todd is such a good show jumper in his own right. I had the pleasure to work for him for several years. Uh, I, I hope we can keep it together. Ah, I should not say that. Well, we one pole one. down, and that takes him to 47.6. He would stay ahead of Sarah Cohen, though. But he needs to really, if he's going to challenge for second place on the podium in the series, he really needs to be on the podium in the leg as well, Dem. He needs to potentially pick up some points. He can't drop too far out of the points. You have to be in the top 15 because don't forget, you've got people like Townend, you've got Rose, you've got lots of people coming to chase down third spot on the series. They want that check as well. That could be important. One down, he's outside the points at the moment. Well, one pole down, Kiltubrid Rhapsody, Sir Mark Todd, 47.6 for him. Now, he is looking for his fourth counting score for the series because it is the best four series counting scores that go towards the series total. Sarah Cohen has hers locked in. She's on 93 points. She needs to finish sixth or better here to improve that point score. I think after the two down in the show, jump in for them. As away goes, Sir Mark Todd. Now, this is a very important round in terms of the series because Kill Two Brid Rhapsody, 43.6. A rail down in the show jumping, 47.6, the score they come forward. 
in was 15... very experienced and they have a good partnership. Uh, it was very good riding. Now, Derm, in terms of Mark Todd and the series, second place on the podium is out of range for him. What about third? Look, it's been a very interesting morning because we would have thought Mark Todd did have a role to play in the series. But one pull down for Kilthubert Rapsi and a clear round then by Shane Rose has handed all the momentum to Shane Rose. He's in the driving seat right now. It's in Shane Rose's control. Mark Todd is currently sitting on 81 points. If he can finish where he is now in 15th, he has to add to that. If he wants to move up the order, if he wants to add more points, Shane Rose currently sitting with 86 points. We need a five point makeup. He needs to move up the order. Well, a great shot of that enormous ditch. He, I mean, this is go. This, it's just get more and more exciting because we see the better combinations coming through, and, and we see how influential the time is and how difficult it is to get. So, it is going to be a very tough competition. Well, we're not going to know the winner until the last horse crosses the line. The reverse order cross country in this, the final leg of the 2017 season. I think Sir Mark Todd saw a stride there. Yeah, I think he's going for it, and and. You know, you need to if if you want to make the time, and he want he needs to climb up the order. He needs to go for those strides, and the you know as soon as you take a quiet stride, he something jumps the ditch palisade. He would have needed 40 seconds, so he is down on the clock, but not a million miles away. As we head across the late crossing with Mark Todd, and that's a brilliant shot of that upright great because it is just on dry land. But uh, John T was saying that the water's really churned the mud up there. Yeah, and, and it's it's uh, as well, you know, the water, it, it takes it's difficult because it takes time to ride through that water. And that's where, you know, the track becomes so at difficult. At this level and at this kind of format of competition, Francis himself very experienced, but uh, Mark Todd. Time. The time is this time. There's no time to that. Now we're back here with Mark. So um, Mark Todd, Kiltubrid Rhapsody coming towards the end of their Why round. 50 don't. seconds left on the clock and he would have needed to be that with uh, a minute. So he's around 10 seconds down. How much? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's the difficult part. And you need to have enough left in the engine. It'd be very interesting to see here. Mark? Well, uh, he's... Mark, Mark, is, yeah, Mark is similar to, to Alexander, isn't he? But it's, it's been a very quick round for this horse, I think, Dan, he, hasn't it? He is pushing towards home. This is a big round in terms of the series because this is going to put the pressure on those coming ahead of him. 51.6, the clock is still going. He is over the time, but 5.2 time, 52.8.